TV30, serving the cities of Dublin, Livermore, and Pleasanton. Your connection to the Tri-Valley. Conversations. I'm Robin Farr. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got a great show for you today. We're talking with Hester Wagner. She is the director over at Futures Films right here in Livermore. You're going to love what they do. And sitting next to Hester is Zach Goldberg. He is a student, an admiral. Well, we, we're making that part up, but we, I decided he could be an admiral today if he wanted to be. But he's also interned as a camera operator with Joey Travolta's company. Welcome to Conversations. It's so great to have both of you here. It's great to be it's here. pleasure Thank to be you. on board. Well, Futures Films, I met you guys um, when you were, um, your film was premiering at the Livermore Valley Film Festival, which was such a hoot. Wasn't that the best yeah, thing? I loved having that in our own backyard. Yeah, it's a great first year, and I hope there's many more of them to yeah, come. Yeah, it was just great. So, and I got a chance to figure out what F Futures Films was about then, but Hester, as the director, tell us about it. Great, so Futures Films is a fully operational production company um, and we are available for hire to do any number of projects from PSAs to commercials. We actually did three commercials for the Livermore Valley Film Festival mm -hmm. that we were hired to do for them. Um, did you do the the kind of the chocolate meets peanut butter yes. one? I loved it. I yes. mean, it wasn't really chocolate and peanut butter. You, you know this, Zach, right? <laughs> it was the so where science meets techno science and art blend together, and what a perfect uh, match yeah. it can be. And it was actually that was written um, by one of our staff members. Um, so the other great thing about Futures Films is that we employ adults with developmental disabilities who have trained as filmmakers to work on our films, and, um, and that's everything from development through to post-production. So the commercials that we saw were developed by um, one of our full-time staff members who was a former student of our vocational training program, um, the Practical Film and Media Workshop. So he wrote um, that commercial, and then we had an all-star cast of the mayor and the police chief and yeah, local artist. Yeah, it was artists, so good. So. It was really yeah. great. It was so good. So, Zach, you are a student then, mm. and maybe one day will be on staff. Tell us about your journey here, and is film just in your blood? Is this something you've always wanted to do? Um, I've always wanted to do filming since I was 12, when mm. I first learned how to write a script and how and I basically got a whole taste mm -hmm. of what filmmaking was like and it took me all the way through taking f taking video and studio production mm -hmm. classes in high school and from there and just before I graduated I heard about the workshop and I figured I could really give it a try and and I've it's actually been great. known Zach since he was 12 because he was a student at our summer film camp um, the Joey Travolta short film camp so I've gotten to work with him and seen him grown into a very a uh, mature young man who's a great filmmaker. <laughs> That's really great. And so you were writing scripts kind of young. Absolutely. That's good for you. That's really how it all begins. Is it what you thought? Because you know how sometimes we have dreams as a kid about how something's going to be. And maybe you saw a lot of movies and you think, and then you're actually now involved in helping make them. What is the experience like for you? It's different. It's, <clears throat> it's great. But it's it, work, isn't it? <laughs> Do you watch movies differently now? I watch movies very differently now. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I, I always thought I would be writing movies, but then I found that it can be just as fun to be really behind the scenes mm -hmm. and all. It's it's just as it's just as magical as watching the movie itself. Well, we see people that we know, big names that we know, and how they may have started. And, you know, you look at somebody like Ron Howard, who was a little boy actor. And now it's, it was getting into the genre. It was, and then finding his real love is directing. Yeah, you that know. happened to me too. Is like, that right? Yeah, I mean, I was, you know, I did the acting thing and studied acting in college. Happened to me too. Yeah, <laughs> and then I, you get behind the camera and it's like, oh. I was a script. I wanted to be a script, thought I wanted to be a script writer and an actor, but then I found out that camera was just 
just as wonderful. It says something to, uh, you know, when I was in news originally, I thought that I would just be nothing but news anchor or reporter in front of the camera. And then I got a taste of editing. And editing in the news world, to me, is where the magic happens. Because you've got all of this B-roll. It's like a big puzzle of all of this stuff. And then being able to put it exactly where you want it so that it tells this perfect story, yeah. that, to me, is the performance right there. It's in editing, so you never know. I haven't done it since. Oh, I really need to. Well, one of the cool things about our training program is we, when students come in, we have them do the full um, spectrum of learning everything, all the way from the writing to post-production and lighting and camera. So they really get that full experience and then you know, may discover something different and may yeah. be able to specialize into a new field for employment. Absolutely. Let's give um, out some information. We're going to come back and go to a break and when we come back you're going to see a trailer of the, um, the movie that premiered at the uh, Livermore Valley Film Festival. You are going to love it. We're talking with Hester Wagner and Zach Goldberg of Futures Films. Check out their website if this is something that interests you. www.futuresfilms.org. Don't go away. We'll be right back. I was in a meeting at the East Bay Regional Center, and my, my father expressed that my son needed to go out, go and you know, meet people that were like him, and you know, people that had developmental disabilities like me. And she noted that the Joey Travolta film camp would be a really good idea. People said I wasn't able to make it. They said, "Oh no, Elliot, yeah. he never went to school. Why would he go to a, a film workshop?" His last name makes him Hollywood royalty, but it's his heart that may well make Joey Travolta a legend, but to a growing number of people with disabilities who until now have never had a chance to shine. Filmmaking is the ultimate collaboration. The process of making a film gives you what, what we call soft skills. When they're finished with the program, they're learning communication, they're learning to work as a team, and those can be applicable any place that you go to work. Being able to explore and see what else can offer out there for me. For as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to edit. That was the one thing that I wanted to do, and I always thought it would just be a hobby. It became very interesting how I could not only try to work my way into my skills as a filmmaker, but also work on my social life. Joey told me I have huge, huge, huge potential in you that you will do well in this business. This summer, we're taking an intern from each one of the workshops and bringing them on the road with us to the film camps. Okay, so uh, here we go. <laughs> this is my first time ever being in an airport. I'm expecting kind of a culture shock. <laughs> I've been to the airport many times in my life ever since my trip to Seattle at age two. Wow, that is the uh, Lights, Camera, Independence uh, trailer that uh, premiered at, uh, the movie itself premiered at the Livermore Valley Film Festival, but it's not released yet for the rest of us, but yeah, it will be. Wow. Um, I would just keep checking the website, and then um, we're looking for distribution for it at this time. Yeah, so. it's a beautiful, beautiful film. And now we keep talking about Joey Travolta, and, you know, everybody's going, what, what are they talking about? Okay, tell us about Joey so Travolta. Joey um, is the founder of Inclusion Films and started this workshop concept of training people in a hands-on, practical way for jobs in the film industry. And it's grown from Southern California up to Northern California, um, out across the country. There's a lot of projects and development right now to expand this model. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we have the, the training platform, we have the summer camps. Um, the film is about taking interns from the workshops, from all the different workshops, on the road for the summer to experience the film camp. And that was, um, the film we saw was from 2014. Mm -hmm. um, and Zach just got back from summer abroad with the camps this year. And that's where you were interning, you were running camera. Yeah, basically. Where I did, did all. Where did you guys go? Uh, we went to St. Mary's in Moraga here okay. in California, yeah. and then we went over to Tenafly in New Jersey, and after that we headed down to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay. How long were you gone? Six weeks. Okay. A month and a half. So being on the road making a film. 
Yeah. <laughs> Which is really what we were watching. I mean, that's what the trailer is about, isn't it? And what it takes. That's what it's all about. about. Yeah. That, it's what did you really tell me was the thing that you learned the most? We were talking about it in the car. Um, I think my great, I think the greatest lesson for me on this entire trip was that I, is that the thing about the kind of work I do is that there's never a limit to how much you can learn. Like you're mm -hmm. just going to learn more and more as you go along and that's okay. And from this kind of line of work, that's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay to just keep learning, not know something at first, but geez. Right. Keep rolling with it. And know that that's really, I mean, what a wonderful industry to be in where you're never going to just sit down and say, well, I've got all of this down. You're still learning. You know, Absolutely. It's just, yeah, Every it's day. constant. Yeah. You know, yeah. speaking of that, Plato, the philosopher, once had, once ha said this, and that he, that I am the wisest man, and that is because I know one thing, and that is that I know nothing. Exactly, and exactly. And the more you know, the more you know you don't know. Exactly. exactly. I mean, that's how it goes. Well, it sounds like it was an absolute wonderful experience. So what would we tell our audience um, if we've got some future filmmakers watching so, and yeah. they would like to get involved with this? Tell us what you're looking for in so, your students. Um, so our students, um, anybody from 18 to 22, um, you can contact me through the website, and I'm happy to talk to you about our program. It's a two-year training program. Um, the next step for our students after that, we're looking for internships. You know, so if companies out there have opportunities for internships, mm. and then hire us, hire mm -hmm. us to make films for you. That's mm. what I have to say. Well, you're a nonprofit. You're local in Livermore and in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. uh, documentaries. You even do the weddings. Absolutely, you do We've weddings, weddings and events, yeah. promotionals, PSAs, all of that kind of thing. Full service production with a twist. Absolutely. There's the twist. There's the twist. <laughs> you're great. I think it's just absolutely wonderful. I love what you're doing, and it says the quality of work is just is fabulous. So we all need video at some point. So why That's not right. take on a nonprofit who's doing such a great job? Hester Wagner, Zach Goldberg, I'm so glad you came in today. Thank you it for having really us. It was really nice to see you. Futures Films, www.futuresfilms, put an S in there, futuresfilms.org. If this is something you're interested in, they've got all sorts of things here that uh, are, you know, they're help them uh, fulfill their mission too while you get the job and work done that you need done. So, high quality work. Yeah, high quality Highest work. of quality. quality. Highest of qualities. You heard it from the Admiral. All right, don't go away. I've got plenty more conversations coming up. I'll be right back.